Now, parts of the country were flooded Sunday evening, leaving properties destroyed and many people displaced. The floods have largely been attributed to choke drains meant to channel the flood water. Head of the Central Analysis and Forecast at the Ghana Meteorological Agency, Michael Paddy, joins the show for more on this. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Thank you and good morning. Did we see this coming? I'm referring to the intensity of rain uh, we recorded last night. Yes. Um, I can hear you. Can you please come up again? Yeah, I'm hearing you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, we reported it yesterday. We predicted it. So, well, the public is, was informed on this kind of situation. Mm. Now, the difficulty many of our audience tell us is that the figures that you forecast versus the explanation, it's, it's something they don't really uh, get. They can wrap their minds around it. How was the, the, the weather yesterday? How was it communicated? Um, usually through the normal channels that we deliver our um, regular forecast. Um, we issue weather um, in the morning, that regular in the morning at 6, then regularly also at 6 p.m. But in between, if we realize something quite unusual or something that will be a bit torrential, then we have to issue a weather warning or an update on weather warnings or the regular routine forecast that we've been issuing to the general public. And uh, we did that yesterday. Mm. Mr. Paddy, I have a copy of one of such uh, alerts that you've released, okay? And um, let's take Accra, for example. We have cloudy slash sunny bricks slash isolated TSRA. I think the problem for many people is when they see this, they don't really understand it. Yes. Um, okay. We have tried to define those terms um, beneath the forecast that we see. But um, uh, I can still do a little. Mm. Um, cloudy means there will be clouds, lots of clouds in the sky, which um, could produce or could not produce rain because it is the cloud that produces the rain. And sunny to mean that in between the time there could be sunny break. Then the TSRA um, is the abbreviation for thunderstorm and rain. So um, because of um, the way the, the space we try to abbreviate some mm. of Mr. Paddy, I, let, me, let me refer to another application and how the weather is communicated. And so I'm seeing what the weather is like for um, Kumasi, for example. And with this application, it gives you an hourly prediction. So it says it, it's 27 degrees now and it's cloudy. But at 11 a.m., there's a 60% chance of a thunderstorm and it's likely going to be 26 degrees Celsius. It gives you that for 12 p.m., saying that the chance of a thunderstorm is 80%. 1 p.m. is 90%. 2, 90%. Is it possible for the meteorological agency here in Ghana to send out really basic and easy to understand weather alerts like, like this? Um, well, you get these things on your phone. Is that right? Yes, from an application. A weather application? Uh, well, um, I think those things are not coming directly from the Ghana Meteorological... And that's why I'm yes. asking, and that's why I'm asking, Mr. Paddy, if it is possible for the Meteorological Agency to give hourly, um, you know, less complicated, easy to understand alerts like this one that I've just read out. Yes, it is very possible. And we are willing to provide 
such services to the general public. Actually, we look at the way um, other providers, whether providers are coming up with um, this kind of applications that you are talking about. Well, GMED as well has also been very concerned, and we are trying to get um, out to the public um, as regularly or as frequently as we can. So, um, well, maybe with time, GMED will also do some applications like that. But currently, we have WhatsApp group whereby we um, transmit information, we send the information regularly to people mm. on it. Mm. So maybe um, for now, what is trending could be a WhatsApp, which people will have to look on. Uh, Mr. Paddy, you're also on Facebook, I understand. I think it's something you can consider to make your communication less complicated and more easy for the untrained eye. But are the rains in time or they are coming too late? Well, um, they are in time. This is the time whereby the southern sector of the country or Ghana would have to see the beginning of the rainy season. So, hello? I'm listening to you, Mr. Paddy. Yeah, so this is um, the beginning of the rainy season. This is the right time. That is, yeah, the normal. So Southern Ghana um, will continue to experience frequent rain from now. So the coastal sector, greater Accra, stretching to central, western, eastern region, then Ashanti and the Volta region, um, will be experiencing rain um, regularly, at least three or more times in a week, because the rainy season has started. Mm. And also the northern sector will also occasionally benefit from storms that will be affecting the southern sector. We so occasionally, mm. the northern sector will also experience some uh, moderate torrential rain as it occurs over the southern sector. We understand from our colleagues in the Ashanti region that the rainfall pattern this time is quite different from what they've been experiencing over the years. Can you confirm that? And if so, why is that the case? Uh, please, there's some noise at, the, at your background. So it's, it's good. Can you uh, hear me? Can you hear me? I think there may be yeah, some interference. What I'm saying is that our colleagues in, in Kumasi tell us the rainfall pattern this time round is quite different from what they've recorded over the years. And I'm asking if you can confirm that, and if so, what is the cause? Um, thank you. Uh, from, for the pattern, I, it, it has not changed so much, but um, maybe the, uh, the, the intensity or frequency uh, might be the problem. But it seems quite regular or quite usual at this time of the year. It is only that um, the human memory can uh, mm. not be um, very concise. Mm. So if there should be rain during the rainy, during the dry season, then it looks like something quite unusual. But have been experiencing this kind of situation always. If we could remember, um, at the beginning of the rain, rainy season, it used to be accompanied by very strong wind due to um, temperature contrast and sharp changes in pressure um, value. So these things are quite uh, normal. Mr. Paddy, I'll have you hold on. Um, we've been joined by the head of man-made disasters at the National Disaster Management Organization, uh, regional office here in Accra, Alhaji Mohammed Abubakar. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Now, what was the impact of the rains yesterday, per your assessment? Hello, Alaji. Yeah, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining the show. I'm asking what the impact of the rains, uh, the impact of the rains was yesterday, per your assessment. Uh, from uh, the assessment that uh, we have so far done from 
yesterday evening uh, after immediately after the rain uh, the impact is 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 serious because uh, so far if I, I, I am right we have so far picked about five dead bodies uh, within the Accra uh, metropolitan area. Mm. Can, can you give us more details? Where were these bodies picked exactly? Come again. Can you, if you can hear me, can you kindly reduce the volume of uh, a media set around you? I'm not too sure if it's a radio or television, but we are getting feedback from a, a media device close to you. Oh, okay. You are getting feedback from uh, a radio. Yes. If you can kindly reduce the volume, would be would be most grateful. Uh, is it okay now? It's better now. I was asking if you can give us details exactly of where these bodies were picked. Uh, so far, uh, I think uh, one dead body was picked around Aoudome Cemetery area, and from uh, our men and the police who were there, uh, the person was struck by a thunder. And then another lady was also picked around uh, Aveno, that is uh, around the ECG offices, uh, be behind the new plant station area. And then one from Dansuma area, and this morning to around uh, Zongo Junction. Mm. Uh, the one from Dansuman, was it a male, female, child, adult? Oh, actually, I was not at the scene, but okay. you know we have a, a network that is our radio system that we monitor. Mm. Uh -huh. So as of now, I have not witnessed it, but I, am no, I know for a fact that uh, somebody lost uh, his life around that area. Mm. And our men were there and communicating with uh, our our central communication center. All right, Alaji, uh, how prepared are we, when I say we, I mean NADMO, for the rains this year? NADMO is always prepared for the rain. Uh, we started uh, education and sensitization uh, getting to the end of last year. You know, usually during the dry season, that is the time that uh, most of the time the drains get to. As I'm talking to you now, we had a program on the ground that was going on before the rain started. We are, we are distorting most of the storm drains uh, within Accra, Great Accra region, let me say Great Accra region, in Adenta, Abokobi, Medina, and Accra area, so that we can open the, the storm drains for water to go freely. And did you say you're currently desilting those drains you just mentioned? Come again. Did you say that the silting is happening now as we speak? Yeah, the, the, the silting is, 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 is okay, but one major thing that we have observed over the years is you know that Accra is a low-lying area. Anytime we have heavy downpour uh, within uh, uh, every and its environs, especially around Unsawam area, Eburi, uh, coming down to Abukobi area. That is uh, the catchment area of some of the major storm drains within uh, Accra, that is uh, the Kole Lagoon and other areas. So that is uh, one of the major causes of flooding in Accra. And also, you know, as uh, Ghanaians, as citizens, we are also not good at managing our waste. Most of the time, people will wait when it is raining, then they release their heavy uh, refuse in the drain. And then at the end of the day, it will soak the drain, and then that will also cause flooding. Mm. And also, scrap dealers who collect scraps and keep them along the storm drain. Anytime it rains, then the water will carry the scrap into the drains and then to block it, then rain, water will not flow and then flooding will, will, will occur. That is one of the major causes. We have actually been working closely with uh, I listened to my brother from Metrologica. We've been working very closely with them. Mm. They are doing so well. They've been giving us the weather uh, forecast and the recent one I think has been very, very accurate from the way I have monitored it. They are saying that this year we experienced a lot of uh, heavy rains and then wind uh, thunderstorms. And I think that is what we witnessed yesterday. So we are closely working and monitoring what is happening. Our men are on the ground. 
our operations from the headquarters, the region, and within the municipal and metropolitan areas in Accra are all on the ground. All right. Doing an assessment. Mm. Mr. Blacker, finally and briefly, what, what's happening with those who've been displaced? What have you done for them since last night? Come again. Those who have been displaced by the rain, what have you been doing for them since last night? Yeah, it is too early to predict. So far, what we are doing is people who were trapped yesterday were rescued. Those who have been affected, the assessment is ongoing. And as the reports trickle in, okay. we will submit it to the regional office and the headquarters. And then immediately action will be taken. Thank you very much for your time. Let me come to Mr. Paddy, who is with the Ghana Meteorological Agency. Mr. Paddy, what should we expect in the coming days? Um, thank you very much. As um, the rain has um, begun, or the rain season has started, um, we should expect at least um, three or more days in a week, rainy days. Uh, this will occur mostly in, in, uh, mostly over the inland areas, that's Ashanti, the Volta region, especially areas around the Volta Lake where we have lots of moisture. Um, when the frequency will be quite high. Then the eastern region, Wahu area, and Koko on the mountain, um, those obstructions also um, have very high chance of um, producing clouds. So those areas are areas whereby rainfall will be quite frequent. Mm. But along the coast, well, uh, the East Coast, as you know, is not been getting rain regularly. So the East Coast will be quite um, free than the inland areas. As you move slightly inland, places like Dodowa, um, Ayukuma, those areas where we have the range of mountains, those areas will be quite frequent in terms of rain than uh, very close to the coastline. Thank you so, very much. Thank you very much you, for your time. You Mr. Paddy, yes, uh, we should be prepared. And uh, in simple terms, if I get you right, we're going to be experiencing a lot of rains in the coming days. Uh, you just had uh, Michael Paddy. He's with the Ghana Meteorological Agency sharing with us what the weather will look like. Uh, we understand that today there's a chance of a thunderstorm. And uh, those in Kumasi, um, you, you're, you're within the areas that are likely to be affected, so please just stay safe. And um, you can get to the Ghana Meteorological Agency's page on Facebook and other social media handles and furnish yourself with the, the, the details of what the weather is going to look like so you're prepared for that. We also heard from uh, Mohammed Abukari, he's with NATMO, and uh, unfortunately we are told that five persons have lost their lives um, after rains in Accra yesterday. Uh, we are yet to get updates um, uh, from other parts of the country where it rained, uh, but five dead bodies have been retrieved. Um, one person at Awudume is believed to have died when thunder struck him, and uh, one lady at Aveno, her body was picked up at the ECG offices, one person from Dan Suman and another from Nima. But we are told by um, Mr. Abu Ambaramadan, he's Deputy NADMO uh, Coordinator or Director of, of, of Deputy Director of NADMO. He says a report will be out soon. We will furnish you and give you all the details. Meanwhile, three persons, including a child, have been injured in a rainstorm which has caused havoc to many households, a school and a church in Soko de Ando, a community in the whole municipality of the Volta region. The rainstorm, which lasted barely 15 minutes, ripped off roof sheets of some houses, collapsed others, and interrupted power supply to surrounding communities. Some residents have been rendered homeless as a result. Here's Fred Kwame Osiris' report. Residents were seen Thursday morning counting their loss and trying to pull their damaged houses in order. According to an assessment by the National Disaster Management Organization, over 35 houses suffered damages during the storm. The assemblyman for the area, Eric Ganyo, who had his four-bedroom apartments ripped off, described the situation as worrying. Around 4.30 that way, I was at work when I had a call from the community, so called the Andu that there was a heavy uh, rainstorm that has roofed a lot of houses uh, 
in the town. So I quickly, first contact was I called the MP for the whole center, and then he directed me to call the NADMO, and I called the NADMO director, that is what is happening in the community. So they, they to promise me that they will come to my aid or come to the aid of the community. So when I called the second time, they said they, were, they are on the way coming. So when I read the town, I went around and I saw a lot of guard houses that being roof off. So that's what at the moment has happened. And we are in a very bad situation as at the moment now. 75-year-old Francis Asito and some two others, including an infant, sustained injuries. Mr. Asito narrated his ordeal to Joy News. When it started raining, we all ran into our rooms. Before I realized, part of the building started to collapse. I am old and weak, as you can see. Hence, I was unable to run out. A section of the building collapsed on me, injuring my head and leg. It was my children and neighbors who shouted for help before people came to my rescue. I have been to the hospital for treatment. I pray I get well soon. However, we are pleading with government to come to our aid. A classroom block which accommodated the kindergarten department of the Sukode Ando MA Primary School 